In France today, President Biden paid tribute to U.S. Army Rangers who scaled 100-foot cliffs to turn the tide of World War II. He also compared fighting Hitler then to fighting Russian President Vladimir Putin now. Willie James Inman has more. President Biden arrived on the promontory point between Utah and Omaha beaches in France, where tens of thousands of American troops landed 80 years ago this week. Army Rangers then scaled the 100-foot cliffs while under fire from the German Army. When the Nazis cut the ropes, the Rangers used their hands. And inch by inch, foot by foot, yard by yard, the Rangers clawed, literally clawed their way up this mighty precipice. In a speech on democracy, the president connected D-Day to supporting Ukraine's fight for freedom. They stood against Hitler's aggression. Does anyone doubt, does anyone doubt that they would want America to stand up against Putin's aggression here in Europe today? Earlier in the day, the president met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and publicly apologized for the congressional holdup of $61 billion of American military aid. Mr. Biden pledged continued U.S. support and announced another $225 million package. President Biden returns to Washington late Sunday after laying a wreath at a French cemetery for Americans killed during World War I. The president will make his first state visit to France on Saturday. President Emmanuel Macron will host the president and first lady. They'll be officially welcomed at the Arc de Triomphe. They'll parade along the Champs-Élysées and attend a state dinner at the French president's palace. Thursday, Macron announced plans to send warplanes to Ukraine. And Friday, Zelensky met with French government officials. The State Department says the new aid package in Ukraine to Ukraine includes air defense interceptors, artillery systems, munitions, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons.